What's up everybody, it's Legend Killer 23 Welcome back to the channel. We got another review for you today. If you guys like that last review that I put up for Deck of the Domination, go ahead and thumbs it up. Go ahead and subscribe if it's your first time checking out my videos. If you haven't seen my toy hunts, go check those out because those are pretty cool and those are fun for me to do. But I gotta do the reviews, guys. I gotta keep unboxing some figures. I've got tons of stuff all around the room. If you look behind you, you'll see. This is a big production, guys. This ain't easy to do. It ain't a one-man show. You know, you got the cameraman over there. You got the guy doing editing over there. And then you got me doing all the in-video stuff. So uh, today we got a great series. We got the Survivor Series that just came out. If you guys know about that, you've seen it, that it came out in Target. You saw that it came out in Walmart with the shippers, with the decorative dominations. I've only seen one of these figures in Target so far. I did not complete the whole set, but I definitely got the three that I wanted. And we're gonna open those up today and see how they look. So let's start with the first one. Whoa, it's gotta be Kane. Numero dos, John Morrison. Number three. Oh wait, that's Kane. We had that one already. And number four, we have Drew McIntyre. So these are all great figures, guys. Yes, I did pick up another Kane. So here it is right here. Let's go ahead and get these cracking. I'm only going to open one Kane. One is for the mock series. As you guys know, I do collect uh, loose, but I love having some mock figures around, especially something like this. This Kane is fire, guys. Literally fire. So let's go ahead and review these bad boys. Let's open them up and let's see what they're looking like. All right, everyone. Let's do this. I know you guys heard that before. Uh, who you guys want to start with? You want to start with Kane, Morrison, McIntyre. Let's start with McIntyre. All right, guys. There you go. That's McIntyre with the raw shirt, which is pretty awesome. The head scan. You guys seen the McIntyre before. Um, you guys seen this figure several times. Uh, but let's take it outside the box. Let's see what it's looking like. All right, guys, let's take a look at the back of the box real quick. You got the four figures in the set. I did not pick up the Samoa Joe. Um, I just, I already had a Samoa Joe and I really didn't care for the SmackDown shirt. Um, I know I already had a Drew, but my Drew got messed up as you guys will see in later on in the video when we do the comparison. But here's the back of the boxes. You can kind of see all three right there, but we'll just look at that. It tells you a little bit about um, Drew McIntyre right there, where he's from, all of that good stuff. The display and the design of the box is pretty cool with the new Survivor Series pictures. And I think this is part of the Survivor Series that they have now and the logo that's coming on TV this week. And then of course, down at the bottom too. So let's open that up. If Drew no longer mock out of the package, let's take a look at that head scan. With the hair and the face, it looks really good. I mean, it's a great head scan. You guys can't go wrong with this one. Um, and I think I'm gonna put this one on just because my other one has the regular head scan. So there you go, there's your head scan. You get these hands, you get the raw shirt. Pretty nice looking shirt, it's gonna look really good on him. Probably really tight too, because it looks like a small shirt, Velcro of course. If you guys see my video, go check out my video on how to make your own shirts. They're not as good as this, but you can at least save some money on making your own shirts. All right guys, here's your Drew McIntyre figure out of the box with what it comes with, just these open hands, throwing them up to the crowd. Uh, again, this is very similar to the last figure. Let's look at some of his uh, Small details on his accessories. So there's those little Drew McIntyre crosses that he had on the last figure. Here's what he's got on his bum or his butt. McIntyre right there with that logo. Looks pretty nice. You've got that head scan, which looks pretty good. Uh, detailed very well, just like the other figure that he had on Elite 71 or 69 or 70. I can't remember. I know I have it. Chest hair on fleek. Guys, here's my two McIntyre figures that I own in my collection. If you see this figure right here, you know the difference on this figure with this type of logo that's on here. It's kind of sideways versus the other way it's facing straight down. And if you guys can take a look real quick, you'll notice something different about this McIntyre. This is a remix, kind of a fix up. If you guys follow me on Instagram, and if you're not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. Um, I had to switch some parts around with some arms with the NXT Drew McIntyre figure, which one of my friends and followers on Instagram sent me. My dog chewed up the legs and the arms on this McIntyre figure, the Elite 71 or 72. I don't remember what number it was. Maybe it's 69. I don't know. The boots are different. These are the boots from NXT. But again, I do like the fix up that I had to do on here. It is my original figure mashup. And we do have the entrance jacket, which this figure does not come with. The entrance jacket will come on the new uh, Drew McIntyre that's coming out very soon. But that is the one without it. 
So there's my two Drew McIntyre guys. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below and let's get into the next figure. All right, guys, here we go with John Morrison. Man, I couldn't wait for this figure to come out, guys. I was really super excited about it. Just getting the tag team championship belt from 2007 and a John Morrison figure in general. Just really happy to have that because it'd be my first one. We already got a new one coming out, I believe in Elite 82. So I can't wait for that one as well. I love John Morrison all the way back from even tough enough. So I couldn't wait to get one of his figures and his older figures are a lot more priced. So let's get this bad boy open. Ooh, it comes with the sunglasses. I didn't even know that. Guys, if you want to take a look at this right here, let's read that. The mayor of Slamtown and his tag team partner, The Miz, challenged the ECW champion in a triple threat match at Survivor Series 2007. Who was the ECW champion in 2007? Leave a comment below. I'll give you some extra points for the contest. But if you haven't answered it by now, it was CM Punk. And of course, they do not mention CM Punk on the back of the box. I thought that was pretty funny. But yeah, if you knew that already, leave a comment down below. There goes Morrison out of the box. No longer mock. So if you guys can see right there, we do have the John Morrison glasses with the crosses on them. As you guys can see, it's a very small detail, but it's hard to see. But they do have the little crosses on them. Now, these glasses are hard to, man, keep straight. I lost my ones for Christian. I'm so mad about it. And here are your tag team belts. Only one. We got to get that Miz to match. That Miz from 2007. Anybody has it out there, let me know. If you find a link to it from Makari, I definitely got to get me that to match up my tag teams. And of course, I'll have to get another belt. I'll probably get another Morrison. Let's figure. Let's take a closer look at it. Let's go inside the attire. Let's look at the boots. Let's look at these ugly ass elbow pads that are ridiculously big. Yeah, I don't know what's up with these guys. These things are huge. I mean, did he, I'd have to go back and watch the video of 2007. But if he wore these big ass, ugly ass elbow pads, that's ridiculous. Psh! Now let's look at that head scan. I think it looks really good. You got the little sideburns right there. You can kind of see them. It's good. It's a good head scan. Very good. Nice flowing hair. Here's the details on the belt. Look really good. Actually, they put a lot of nice details in here. It does match the attire that he wore in 2007 Survivor Series. All the way around the front. And let's go down to the boots. John Morrison had these type of boots way before Tyler Breeze. So those are nice. And these are removable, guys. If you were wondering, they are removable. You've probably seen some people remove them and flip them around, but they are removable. So if you take the boots off, you heat them up, you can remove those. All right, guys, here's Johnny Drip Drip with his glasses on and his tag team championship belt, one half of the tag team champs with the Miz. Can we do a slow-mo? Now listen, Wow, that was awesome, guys. Um, that was really cool. Anyway, so there he goes, your John Morrison. Love this figure. Love it, love it, love it. Probably my the best one out of the set to me, honestly. The cane is fire for sure, but John Morrison is dope, man. You know he's been around for a long time. Hall of Fame wrestler for sure. All right, guys, let's get into the next figure. This has got to be Kane. His logos going up and down again i believe this is the newest logo they're using for this year so they coordinated it perfectly you got a survivor series chair from whatever year that is we'll look at the box in the back you got a few accessories cane face turned off to the side i don't know why that's happened i've seen a bunch like that i've seen some facing straight i do have two of these so i had to open this one this is a little damaged but which is good because this is going to be the one that's going to be opened that's a great looking face look at that all right let's open this bad boy up guys there goes Kane. no longer mock Look how great this figure looks, guys. You guys can see the attire. You can see everything straight from here, even in the plastic. But let's go ahead and take them out. Let's see what he's looking like. Let's start with the accessories. Okay, so first thing we got here is a Survivor Series chair. It says Survivor Series. The older WWE logo, as you can see right there, with the F out of there. You will get these hands. There he goes, guys. Out of the plastic, let's take a closer look at everything that comes with him. Oh, this figure is amazing, guys. If you haven't picked it up, do not sleep on it. Secondhand market price for this is already going to go for about 40 bucks. I can see it going up and up because it's not really that easy to get. If you didn't catch it when it came out in the shipper, it's not going to be restocked. And if you get lucky to grab one, grab two. All right, let's start with this beautiful head scan. Look at the mask. You can see the face under there. You see the eyes under there. Very similar to the picture on the back of the box. Uh, the mask is not as shiny as the picture on the back of the box, but it still looks really, really good. Keen with the hair, not too long, but looks awesome. Let's start with the back. You can see the attire right there. There goes Kane's bum. Those little flames all around the side. I like this color red. This color red is just really good. You guys can see it on the camera. There go those boots. Some kick-ass boots right there. And then, of course, you got the wrist gauntlets right here. 
which look cool. These do move around, so you probably could take them off if you needed to swap something around. Got the black glove, of course. And what is it with these stupid elbow pads? Is this a Survivor Series Elite Collection exclusive? I mean, look at these elbow pads, they're huge, but I guess he did wear them. The other wrist gauntlet, that does come off also, it does move around. All right, guys, here's my only other Kane figure. I'm kidding, this is Kane as under Undertaker as Kane, sorry. So this is the only other figure I have to compare to it. So of course you got the Kane mask right there. This Kane mask is actually pretty good, but there's the Undertaker as Kane. And this attire is definitely different. You can see the difference on this one. The red though, for me, pops on this one a lot better. They do look similar on camera, but trust me, this one's much more shinier. And I do like this attire way better. But of course, this was a great figure, the ringside exclusive uh, Undertaker as Kane. I mean, you can't beat this figure, but yeah, that's the only Undertaker or Kane slash Undertaker, whatever, whatever that I have to compare. I do love this figure a lot. It's a great figure. This is going to go down as my top 10 figure for sure of this year that I picked up. Even though I picked this up this year, this did come out last year, but I got this in the summertime um, from a fan over on Instagram. So thank you again for a follower and a friend um, who hooked me up with this because I love this figure in my collection. It's This is in my top 10 figures of all time. But um, yeah, go follow me on Instagram at RKO for Life 23. And you can see the figures that I pick up there also in some videos and some photos as well. But yeah, that's the only other comparison I have right there. And he looks awesome, guys. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. That's the set. Let's look at them all together. Your 2020 Survivor Series set. Um, if you think about last year, 2019 Survivor Series, this one blows it out the water. Um, I know last year we had Jeff Hardy, which I love that figure. I do have it. Um, there was also Alicia Fox, Don Morocco, and the other Survivor Series figure doesn't come to my head. Oh, wait, it was Shinsuke Nakamura. But this set is way better, guys. I think you would agree that this set with Samoa Joe, Kane, uh, Drew McIntyre, and John Morrison is way better than that set from last year. Who the hell cares about Don Morocco? You can still find that figure for 20, 20 bucks somewhere online. So this set for me is way better. Drew McIntyre is hot as shit right now in WWE. John Morrison is back. He's still doing his thing. Can't wait for his new figure. And Kane, this is the Hall of Famer Kane. This guy will go to the first battle Hall of Fame in about probably 10 years from now. You'll see it. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed the set. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, thumbs up. Do all those things that you need to do for me. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you and peace. <laughs>